Welcome to my classroom. Let's come inside. When you come in my classroom, this is one of the first stops. You'll have a seat around the rug in front of my desk. Above my desk, you'll see our school expectations, as well as the artist of the month. On top of the counter, we have two bins of books. The red bin is full of really awesome drawing books that you can borrow for free draw time. And the blue bin is full of books that you might like to read while cozied up on the carpet. It's a great place to sit and read a book. You'll find the free draw station here. If we have free draw, you can use one piece, pencils and crayons. Clipboards are there to draw on the carpet with your free draw, as well as stencils and rulers for all your free draw fun. This big contraption is called the drying rack. After we finish a painting, we place our painting on the drying rack. Here, let me show you how it works. You'll take your paper and lay it where two lines come together so that it doesn't fall through. Then carefully pull down the next layer when the whole rack is full. At the end of class, when it's time to clean your hands, you'll visit the sink station. We have four sinks so that everybody can get their hands nice and clean. There are two places to sit in my classroom. One is your assigned seat at one of your work tables, and the other is on the carpet in front of the screen when we're doing a video or demonstration. This big, long blue counter is where you're gonna find many of the art supplies we'll be using on this day's project. Another location you might see an art supply is at this circle table in the back. However, we can use this table for extra seating. At the front of the classroom, on the whiteboard, you'll see today's project. Above the whiteboard, you'll see our class motto, we don't make mistakes, only happy accidents, said by the famous Bob Ross. Are you bleeding? Do you have a runny nose? Well, this is the stop you need to make. I have tissues, sanitizer, and band-aids at the front of the classroom, next to my telephone. Most of you recognize the color wheel, but do you also recognize the color families that surround the color wheel? Primary, secondary, warm and cool, all in crayon boxes to help you remember. But the most important thing over here is the lady you should all know. That's right, the Mona Lisa. Who can sit like the Mona Lisa right now? Many students ask the question, Mrs. Hopkins, did you paint everything on the walls? And the answer is yes, I did. It took a year and it was a lot of hard work, but we are very happy with the results. Another question we get is what is in that room? No boys and girls, that's not a bathroom. You'll use the bathroom out at PE if you need the restroom. This is my closet where we store our kiln. It's locked, so you can't go in there. Remember how we talked about hand washing? Well, if you watch Mrs. Hopkins, she'll show you exactly how to do it. Turn on the water, get your hands wet. Get some soap. I know it's tricky to turn the water off, especially if there's a long line. So in the art room, it's okay to keep it going. Some kids might not be able to turn it off and on easily. So if you know how to help them turn it off, that would be awesome to be a great helper. Once you have them all soaked up, rinse them all the way off, way down deep in the sink. We didn't turn the water on very high, we had it on nice and low. Get rid of the extra water, grab some paper towels, dry your hands really well, and the most important thing, get your paper towel and wipe up any of the drips that you have left over on the counter. 
That way our counters can be nice and clean for the next class. Above my desk, you probably saw our Colts sign. The Colts sign is our school-wide expectations and each letter means a different expectation. We'll go over them more later, but let's read them. C says cooperate with others. O stands for on task and organized. L stands for lead by example. T is treat others with respect and S is strive for success. Underneath the Colts expectations, you'll see some pictures of my family. I have two kids, Ollie and Emmy. Ollie is almost five and Emmy is three. My husband is Mr. Hopkins and our dog is Penny. I hope you have a fantastic year in my art room and I can't wait to make a masterpiece with each and every one of you.